In this video, I'm going to review the Hotspot Shield VPN. I'm going to test out the speeds, see which locations it has, and test out any extra features that it has to offer. So let's get started. Now, before I start, I just want to say that I've included a link down in the description for the VPN. And with that link, you'll be able to check the price and you'll get any promotions or offers. So if you're planning on buying, you'll be able to get the best deal possible and the lowest price. So make sure you check that out first and let's get started with the video. Okay, so to start off the Hotspot Shield VPN review, I'm going to be doing a speed test. And first off, I'm going to test it with my home connection. Then I'm going to connect to the VPN. I'm going to run a test again and then I'm going to compare the speeds and see how much speed we actually lose when we're using the hotspot shield vpm so if i hit go we should get our home speed test so our speed test has completed and as you can see i've got 732 down i've got 896 up and i've got a ping of two now i'm going to connect to the hotspot shield vpm and then i'm going to run another speed test and let's see what kind of speeds we get So our speed test has completed with the Hotspot Shield VPN enabled. And as you can see, I've got 233 down and 54 up. Um, these are major drops, especially in my upload speed. Usually I'm expecting about a 20 to 30% speed drop compared to my home connection. And in this case, I've got nearly 80, 90% on the upload and maybe a 60% on the download. My ping has increased to 76, which was from two. Um, 76 is reasonable, but it could definitely be quicker. And when you're gaming on about 76 ping, you're definitely going to notice it. So I wouldn't recommend this VPN for gaming, but it could definitely be used for browsing or streaming or anything else. And these speeds are perfectly fine for all of that. So now I want to go through the locations that Hotspot Shield offers. And as you can see, they offer 127 different locations, which is pretty reasonable. It's not good. It's not bad. It's somewhere in the middle. I've seen other VPNs offer hundreds to thousands of locations and some offer very little. But this selection is definitely decent. They have one location in most countries, which is mostly what you need. Although they could improve it by adding multiple locations, especially in some countries like Germany, for example, which are popular and others, they could add multiple cities and multiple different servers. So now I want to go through some extra features that Hotspot Shield VPN offers. And the first is a smart VPN or what they call a smart VPN, but in most cases you'd know it as split tunneling. What this allows you to do is bypass the VPN with certain apps or uh, software on your computer. Let's say I'm running Chrome and Firefox and I want Chrome to run with the VPN and Firefox to not have the VPN. And I would just simply add Firefox to the bypass and that way the VPN would stay enabled on Chrome and I could browse and then on Firefox I wouldn't have the VPN enabled. So the next feature is a kill switch and what a kill switch allows you to do is when you're connected to the VPN, let's say your home connection randomly drops. Well, before reconnecting to the outside world, it would first wait and block you from connecting to internet so first you connect to the vpn and then you'll connect to the outside world and this way it improves your privacy and security and stops any data leaks or ip leaks so now i want to answer some frequently asked questions that i get about hotspot shield vpn the first is can i use this vpn for netflix streaming or streaming on other services and the answer is yes you can unlock geoblocked content with this vpn and you can use it on things like netflix with no issues they actually have dedicated streaming servers which you can see here and you can use those to access netflix and let's say you want to watch a show from canada and it's not available in your country you just switch over to a canadian vpn on hotspot shield and you'll be able to watch that content with no issues so the next question is can i use hotspot shield for torrenting and the answer is yes that all of their servers allow for torrenting and peer-to-peer -peer file transfer so you can safely use this vpn for torrenting without any issues so the next question is is hotspot shield vpn free and the answer is yes they do have a free version with some pretty good features compared to other free vpns in this case you get unlimited data you get up to un up to one gigabyte speeds um, the issues are you don't get a streaming mode, you don't get a gaming mode, and you can only connect one device um, at a time, which if you want to use it on your phone and your computer at the same time, you can't do that. But the premium version is pretty cheap for an upgrade anyway, and you can try it risk-free for 45 days. So the next question is, does Hotspot Shield VPN store logs? And no, they don't store logs, but they do store some weird things like your connection timestamps, your IP address for when you're connected during a session and then your approximate geographical location. They also store some device specific information and personally I wouldn't feel comfortable with this compared to some other VPNs which have policies to store no data at all. 
So for the final question is, is Hotspot Shield VPN safe? And the answer is yes. They use AES 256-bit encryption, which is used by many other VPN providers and is perfectly safe to use and secure. So you can be rest assured when you're using the VPN that is perfectly safe. So that sums up the video. I hope you enjoyed. As I said at the start of the video, I've included a link down in the description for the VPN and this will give you the best price possible and I'll make sure to include any coupons or discount codes that I find. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and make sure that you leave a like on the video.